CNN keeps swinging and missing when it comes to Bernie Sanders, and that is in fact a pun, and yes, it will be relevant when you see the segment from CNN that I am about to show you, because they took just an insignificant clip of Bernie Sanders punching a speed bag, and they did a two-minute segment on it where they tried to basically extrapolate and share the reaction that, you know, the internet had to this clip, and then they tried to make it seem as if it was substantive, when in actuality, this is a multi-billion dollar company talking about something that is completely pointless, and you're going to see why that's the case. Just, just watch. I don't know what else to say. In this corner, 77-year-old Bernie the Cerebral Sanders couldn't resist jabbing the speed bag he passed by the other day. Oh! <laughs> but I'm coming back. He took on the bag, but the bag clobbered him. Or as one armchair analyst put it, speed bag TKO's Bernie Sanders seconds after fight began, quickest technical knockout in boxing history. Note to candidates, if you're clueless about hitting a bag, don't do it unless you want to become a punching bag. What a doofus. LOL, if he keeps that up, maybe he'll knock some sense into his self. Someone else took a swing at socialism, tweeting, when capitalism claps back. Even the president's son, Don Jr., weighed in. This wouldn't exactly strike fear in the minds of our adversaries. But Bernie supporters thought it was cute. Float like a butterfly, sting like a Bernie. We've seen the candidate shadow box before, reacting to his doctor saying what great health the senator's in. Do I get involved in senior boxing? In addition to shadow boxing, we've seen Donald Trump perform a fake takedown. Look at this! At a WWE event billed as the Battle of the Billionaires. Hey, but at least Bernie's punching a bag and not threatening to punch his opponent. No, I wish you were in high school. I could take him behind the gym. He said, I'd like to take him behind the gym. Oh, I dream of that. But our favorite political boxing moment was when retiring Senator Orrin Hatch tried to spar with a piece of bacon. That's pretty nice. <laughs> a slice of bacon is great, but don't get any ideas from this guy. Don't even think of pummeling meat, Bernie even if it would tenderize it. Genimo, CNN. New York. <laughs> Ask yourself this. Do you feel like you learned anything watching that segment? Like, when we tune in to a news show, we're supposed to be educated. We are supposed to have more information that helps us make our decision going into the voting booth. Did you learn anything there? Anything at all? What a pointless way to shit on Bernie Sanders in a roundabout way. And look at the like to dislike ratio on that video. 4,000 dislikes to 938 <laughs> Uh, likes and yes I did dislike that as well but this isn't the only time when CNN has been swinging and missing zing when it comes to Bernie Sanders because they also did an attack on him where they claimed that his criticism of the Washington Post was Trump like that got 8,479 dislikes to 600 likes they also asked if he's still credible to rally against millionaires after he made more than a million on his book Majority disliked again. Another video with Bernie Sanders where he reacts to him trailing in a Joe Biden poll. And that got majority dislikes as well. So CNN, they really like to shit on Bernie Sanders. And it's evident that their audience is not picking up what they're putting down. They're not feeling it. But they must be suckers for punishment because they keep doing it. Nobody takes them seriously. And okay, what was the point of sharing Twitter randos and what they had to say about that. And I love how each individual tweet, even if it had like three words, they still highlighted it. That's such a boomer thing to do. But I mean, they had to highlight it because, um, you know, for whatever reason, that helps demonstrate why people are turned off by Bernie Sanders, I guess. So maybe stay home, don't vote for him, millennials. Um, you had the CNN anchor actually, you know, film herself punching a bag for this bit. I mean, this is incredibly embarrassing and cringeworthy. I, I just... <laughs> 
who thought this through and then said, you know what, we're going to present this as an idea for a segment to a producer, and then who was the producer that greenlit this, and then after filming it, who agreed, yeah, we should still go through with this. I mean, does it not make you look petty? Is this not the most insignificant thing ever? And for all of the conservative shitting on Bernie Sanders, who cares? I don't care what they have to say. They support Donald Trump, someone who literally smears orange on his face every morning when he gets out of bed, who is almost attacked by a bald eagle, who is emblematic of American freedom. I mean, if you're attacked by a bald eagle, isn't that more embarrassing? I mean, I just, I don't get the point. CNN is such garbage that they are scraping the bottom of the barrel to figure out ways to attack Bernie Sanders. Um, and it's just, it's embarrassing. How does this educate people about Bernie Sanders' politics? Is this time that you are spending, even if it's two minutes, is this really more important than something else that's going on? And look, I do stupid segments here once in a while, okay? I did a segment where I basically just cried laughing for like five minutes talking about how John Delaney had a campaign event where only 11 people showed up. And I'm gonna laugh by thinking about that again. But I mean, it's okay to have fun, right? You can do stupid segments. But I am not purporting to be a serious news agency. This is just a podcast. But CNN, they claim to be a serious news organization. They are a multi-billion dollar company, and this is how they're using their resources. I mean, Jesus Christ. They're so blind off of the, you know, the smell of their own farts. I, I don't know what else to say about this. It's just such a stupid segment. And the fact that they took even the most insignificant thing imaginable and used that as an opportunity to shit on Bernie, it says more about them than it does about Bernie Sanders. Step up, criticize the policies, and actually do it based on facts if you want to criticize Bernie Sanders. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.